SketchUp used to be just a single piece of desktop software for Mac and Windows, but now you have SketchUp Make, SketchUp Pro, SketchUp Free, SketchUp Subscription, SketchUp Studio, SketchUp for VR, a bunch of SketchUp viewers, you have layout, and probably other stuff that I'm missing. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is clear up the confusion, compare all of the different versions of SketchUp, and help you decide which version is the one that's right for you. Hey, I'm Matt from mastersketchup.com, author of SketchUp to Layout and co-author of SketchUp and Layout for Architecture. So let's back up for a second and talk about SketchUp, the 3D modeling program. So currently there are two major platforms that SketchUp is built upon. So you have SketchUp for web, which runs right in your browser in the cloud. You don't need to download anything. And then you have the desktop version of SketchUp, which is currently made for Mac and PC. So each platform allows SketchUp to be licensed in a number of different ways at a number of different price points and feature sets, depending on whether you're using SketchUp for free, for personal use, uh, commercially, or in an educational environment. Now, overall, both platforms are gonna offer the same basic tool sets. You know, like your rectangle tool is going to work the same way no matter which platform you're using. Although, the user interface is gonna be very different between the two platforms. So the tool icons and the menu uh, characteristics and the layout of like the different windows and stuff are gonna be very different between the two platforms. But at the end of the day, they're both really gonna feel like SketchUp. So you could go back and forth between either platform and be able to pick it up really easily. All right, so first let's talk about the free version of SketchUp. Now before SketchUp for web was launched, the free version used to be called SketchUp Make and that was built on the desktop platform. Now the thing that was really cool about SketchUp Make is it was, it offered like most of the same features as SketchUp Pro. The only thing is you wouldn't be able to use it commercially. But a couple of years ago, SketchUp Make was actually discontinued when they launched SketchUp for web. So now the current free version of SketchUp is called SketchUp Free, which runs in your browser. Um, no downloads required. You can just run it on any computer as long as you have an internet connection. Now there are some distinct differences between SketchUp Free and SketchUp Make, most notably being that you can't use any plugins with SketchUp Free. So all the plugins in the extension warehouse and in other places are all developed for the desktop platform for SketchUp on either Mac or PC. The web version of SketchUp does not have the capability to work with plugins. Now on top of that, you also aren't able to customize any of your styles or materials. You also have a watermark that is uh, permanently fixed on the screen in SketchUp Free. And you have a more limited selection of import and export capability with SketchUp Free versus SketchUp Make. Now on the other hand, with SketchUp Free, uh, one thing that is cool about it is because it's cloud-based, you can use it on any machine. All you have to do is log in to your account right in the browser and you can access any of your models. And this also opens up SketchUp for people who don't use Mac or PC. So like Linux users can now be able to use SketchUp in their browser. And SketchUp Free comes with 10 gigabytes of free storage in Trimble Connect, which is Trimble's, which by the way, Trimble is the company that now owns SketchUp. So Trimble Connect is Trimble's own cloud storage and collaboration platform that works really well with SketchUp. So the bottom line is right now, the free version of SketchUp is called SketchUp Free. And you can go right now to app.sketchup.com, create a free account and start modeling in SketchUp right in your browser without needing any uh, downloads or anything like that. But if you still wanna use SketchUp Make, uh, you can actually download from the SketchUp's website uh, the last version that was made, which was SketchUp Make 2017. Now, there's no guarantees on how long they're gonna be uh, hosting that download into the future, but you can check the link in the description below if you wanna see if that link still works. All right, next we have SketchUp Shop. So if you like the SketchUp for web platform and you wanna use it commercially, you can subscribe to SketchUp Shop for $119 per year. So by doing that, you're gonna unlock a bunch of features such as the outliner tool, which will allow you to look at your groups and components hierarchy in the model. You'll be able to customize your styles, customize your materials, 
And you'll also get access to the solid tools uh, tool set, which allow you to create solid objects by intersecting other solid objects with each other. You'll also unlock more import and export features like DWG, DXF, STL, OBJ, which will allow you to work uh, with CNC machines or work with other CAD programs. And of course, you're no longer gonna have the watermark on the screen when you're using SketchUp Shop. Now, as far as cloud storage, you will be upgraded to unlimited storage on Trimble Connect. And an additional feature you get with SketchUp Shop is the unlocked augmented reality feature on the, on the SketchUp mobile app. So you can download the SketchUp mobile app for free, but with a SketchUp Shop license, you will have an additional feature which allows you to look at your models in augmented reality right on your phone or tablet. And finally, the SketchUp for Web platform is also used for the SketchUp for Schools platform, which has some additional features just for easier uh, user and file management that links up with Google's G Suite or Microsoft Education. So this version is kind of aimed more towards primary and secondary schools. All right, so moving back to the desktop platform, SketchUp Pro is the flagship version of SketchUp. There are several different licensing options that you can choose to get access to SketchUp Pro, but with all of them, you're gonna have access to thousands of SketchUp extensions. You'll have the most import and export capability, and you'll have the ability to create dynamic components, uh, create animations of your SketchUp scenes, and use the solid tools to create solid intersections of the different groups and components in your model. SketchUp Pro also comes with two additional programs. The first one being a small program called Style Builder, which allows you to create custom sketchy styles. And the second tool is Layout. Now Layout is a companion program to SketchUp in that it allows you to take your 3D models and create two dimensional documents from them. So you're gonna have features like being able to add annotations, dimensions, title blocks, um, all of those things in addition to having a complete drawing tool set that will let you draw to scale in two dimensions. All right, so like I previously said, SketchUp Pro is offered in a number of different packages or licenses. So depending on which license you choose, you're gonna be paying a different amount of money and you're gonna be getting a different set of additional benefits. Okay, so let's start with the classic license. The SketchUp Pro classic license uh, is purchased with a one-time fee of $695. And what that does is it gets you a permanent license for one version of SketchUp. Now, when you do purchase uh, SketchUp Pro Classic License. It is, again, of course, gonna include layout and style builder. Now, it also includes one year of the maintenance plan, which will get you one year of all of the upgrades and bug fixes and new features, including any major new releases that come out. So if a new version of SketchUp Pro comes out while you're under the maintenance agreement, your license will be upgraded to that version. Now I'll have a link in the description that goes over the full maintenance plan if you wanna really dive into the details of that. But after that first year of being on the maintenance plan, you have the option to continue uh, to keep your license current by paying $120 a year. Now again, that's fully optional. And if you decide not to do that, you will still have access to the version of SketchUp that you purchased. So you don't have to pay that $695 every year, you just pay it one time, and then you choose whether you wanna keep your license uh, updated as the years go on. Now, if you don't wanna pay the $695 upfront, there's another licensing option that you can choose, and that's the SketchUp Pro subscription license. So instead of paying a lot of money upfront, you're gonna be paying a subscription fee of $299 a year. Now, the biggest difference between the classic license and a subscription license is that if you stop paying the subscription, you're gonna lose access to SketchUp. Now, that's different from the classic license because once you've purchased that license, it's yours forever as long as you wanna keep it. So with a subscription, you get an affordable upfront cost, but over time, you're gonna end up paying a little bit more with the break-even point being at around three years. But really, it's not fair to just compare the cost because the SketchUp Pro subscription comes with a lot of additional benefits. So first of all, 
if you get the SketchUp Pro subscription, you're also going to get a subscription to SketchUp Shop included with that. Now, SketchUp Shop uh, sells by itself for $119 a year. So for $299, you're getting SketchUp Pro and a license to SketchUp Shop as well. You'll also get the augmented reality features on the mobile app. In addition to that, you will get access to the SketchUp virtual reality um, app for desktop, which will work on HTC Vive, Oculus Rift, all the Windows mixed reality headsets, and also Microsoft HoloLens. So I actually just did a article on virtual reality for SketchUp, which I'll link below if you wanna dive more into that. And then finally, there's SketchUp Studio, which goes for a whopping $1,119 per year. Now, SketchUp Studio includes everything that the SketchUp Pro subscription uh, includes, in addition to having a license to Trimble's energy analysis program called Sapphira. So that's the big difference with SketchUp Studio, is you get Sapphira with it. So Sapphira allows you to uh, create a number of calculations for energy analysis, like heating and cooling loads, and like a lot of other really cool energy uh, calculations. And if you're a student or educator in higher education, you can actually get a license to SketchUp Studio for $55 a year. And remember, if you're an architect, contractor, or other designer using SketchUp Pro and Layout, I have two books available that will really help you learn how to use SketchUp and Layout efficiently. So SketchUp to Layout goes over all of the fundamentals of Layout itself, in addition to all of the things you need to do in your SketchUp model, like organizing your model, using layers, creating scenes, how to use styles in order to prepare your model for layout. And then it has three sample projects, um, one being a woodworking project, a kitchen project, and then a house project to kind of show you an example of how those things will be applied um, in what you learned in the book. I'm actually working on the second edition uh, for SketchUp to Layout. So if you go to sketchuptolayout.com, you'll see that that version of the book is on sale while I finish up the second edition. Now my second book, SketchUp and Layout for Architecture, was co-written by architect Nick Saunders. So this book goes over his specific workflow for creating custom homes using just SketchUp Pro and Layout, and specifically talks about his unique workflow of using multiple models that are set up as templates. So they have like the scenes and the layers and everything already created. So when he goes to create a new project, everything's basically already configured for him. So you're gonna learn exactly how that works and how to go from site design through schematic design all the way to completed construction documents. And oh, by the way, you're gonna get his complete template system included for free with the book. In addition to that, you're gonna get a complete real world sample project that you can download and just dig through and like really try to understand exactly, you know, how the model is put together and how all the various files work in conjunction with each other. So that's it. Again, you can go to sketchupbook.com to get SketchUp and Layout for Architecture or sketchuptolayout.com to get SketchUp to Layout. And if you're new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and click the like button. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.